Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to plug two Rode Wireless Go's into one camera. Now, if you don't know about the Rode Wireless Go microphones, they're portable, they're amazing, and they sound great, particularly if you're recording video on the move, if you're vlogging, they are just a brilliant solution. And paired up with the Lavalier Go, as I've got it here right now, they sound great. So often we're recording one person straight into a camera. Really easy, right? But sometimes we want two people. So we need two Rode Wireless Goes, but you can't plug two Rode Wireless Goes into one camera, can you? Or can you? Yes, you can, and I'll show you how. You need a couple of simple accessories, cost you probably less than 10 or $15. Uh, you've got this shoe mount that goes on top of a camera, and you've got this stereo splitter cable. It's simply a 3.5 millimeter cable that splits the left and right. So that's how you get your separate channels. One guest will be on one side, the other guest will be on the other side when we've finished with this. So first, take that shoe mount, Take your Rode wireless receivers, and now you've got the nice new white Rode wireless go. You can tell the difference so you won't get them muddled up when you're miking people up. And then you simply clip them on. So I'm going to clip this one on to one side of the shoe, and then I'll clip the other one onto the other side of the shoe. And then I've got two of these cables at the moment dangling out, which then go into my stereo splitter. So one goes into one side like so, one goes into the other side like so. And then the final little bit of the cable just simply goes into the camera. Make sure you set your levels correctly so we've got no distortion and mount this on the top of the camera so that you've got a lovely portable setup. Let's see it in action. So Isabella's wearing black, I'm wearing white, and we can fashion coordinate with the Rode Wireless Go Black and the Rode Wireless Go White. Uh, obviously using this monster rig on top, although it's not too monstrous, you can get two Rode Wireless Go's into one camera. And the best thing is, the audio comes out the left for me. And the right for me. Then we can get into something like Adobe <laughs> Premiere Pro and edit this in post. I'm going to show you how next. Okay, here we are with just the video clip imported into Adobe Premiere Pro. Nothing else, and you'll see here if I make the audio track a little bit bigger that my audio is here on the left hand side, Isabella's audio is on the right, even more apparent if we right click edit clip in Adobe Audition and take a look at, there we go, the waveform on the left is mine and over here on the right, let's mute the left for a moment. And my audio is coming from the right channel. What did you That's have? Isabella. And of course I'm just a distant echo. What did you have for breakfast Isabella? As I'm being picked up by Isabella's Rode Lavalier Go and not my own, but over here on the left channel my audio is nice and clear. What did you have for breakfast, Isabella? So we have two separate tracks of each individual speaker, which is brilliant going into one camera using just that single cable. Let's go back to Premiere Pro and see how we can use this practically. First of all, we're going to right click on the clip, we're going to unlink, which essentially detaches the audio from the video. So we can now move it around independently. Obviously we'd like it to stay in sync, but now we're gonna hold down Alt on our PC or Option on our Mac, and we're gonna drag that to Audio Track 2, and we're gonna make a duplicate. And if we want, we can also go into the Audio View here, and we can label these channels um, by the different speakers. So Mike on Audio 1, and Isabella on Audio 2, and there are the labels down there below as well, which is fantastic. Back to Effects, and I'm going to search over here for Phil, and this gives me fill left with right and fill right with left under audio effects special. So all I'll do is fill the right with the left on the top channel, this is my own speech, and fill the left with the right down on the second channel. So now we have two independent tracks and let's actually play this back. So let's solo Isabella's track. And my audio is coming from the right channel. So now Isabella is in That's mono, as you can see over there on the meters, mono and not in stereo as she was before. If I actually take that track off now. Audio is coming from the right. You can see she's biased over to the right. That's why we need to fill the left with the right. And then we get that nice mono signal. Audio is coming from the right channel. And then back to my channel. What did you have for breakfast? is about that's me on solo and then if we want to get even more advanced we can go ahead and edit and of course my audio is coming out the left channel and my audio is now what we can actually do here if we really so wish is we can make some edits and some cuts so I can for instance <laughs> say that I want to cut right about here and completely fade my microphone out. It's possible to do that. I've deleted that clip and that clip. And now we have my speech. And of course, my audio is coming out the left channel. And my audio is coming from the right channel. And if we want, we can do things like uh, crossfades. So we can use the pen tool that's over here or P as a shortcut on the keyboard. 
fade out over here, fade in over here. We might just want to go back and do a little bit of overlap there, just so it's not an abrupt change back to the pen tool. Sort of crossfade going on. Let's play that back. And of course, my audio is coming out the left channel. And my audio is coming from the right channel. So as you can hear, a really good, clean edit. We can take this even further by going into the edit menu and we can go edit in Adobe Audition, the whole sequence. Then we can do a multi-track mix down in Adobe Audition of all these tracks, getting them to our exact perfect needs. Perfection is what we're looking for here. Um, but this is just the start of it. And if you want to then pimp things up a little bit, you can use my Premiere Pro presets and you will see up here under choose a microphone type, uh, we've got one for the Rode Lavalier Go and one for the Rode Wireless Go. So in this case, drop those both on the tracks. Let's have a little listen to that now with a preset. And of course, my audio is coming out the left channel. And my audio is coming from the right channel. Nice, clear and crisp. So there you go. And using some of the new accessories that Rode were cool enough to send through to me, you can of course use this Rode Interview Go. If you fancy doing something interview style, you can do that with a Rode Interview Go. This is a new accessory. I can interview Isabella and ask you what you hope to have for dinner tonight. Well, Mike, I really would like to have a nice spaghetti bolognese. How does that sound? That sounds absolutely perfect. Well done, Isabella. And <laughs> this actually works surprisingly well. Which easily clips in one of these wireless Go microphones with this going over the top and you can do interview style stuff as well if you don't need to or want to split out as I've shown you here.